We are in the midst of an infertility epidemic. I'm Anthony Samaroff, and I'm here with the great Dr. Megan Manco, and we're going to talk a little bit about the crisis of infertility and what we can do about it, because we've got some solutions here. Um, could you tell us a little bit about where we're at with this? Yeah. So right now, one in six people are infertile or have troubles conceiving. And it's a great passion of mine. I've really taken a special interest and focused on pelvic and sexual health mm -hmm. because it's also not talked about a lot. Mm -hmm. And so many people are going through infertility or troubles conceiving, but it can be quite a lonely journey for people I've seen in my client base because there's all this hope and whatnot. So it's difficult to talk with friends and family and again, people just feel like their body should be able to reproduce. Mm -hmm. We've been taught that, oh, it's so easy to get pregnant, but then when you're actually trying, sometimes we find out it's not at all. So. Yeah, and I imagine it can be like very emotionally challenging because people actually dream their whole life of having children and they might even spend a lot of time trying to find the right person to have children with. I know an increasing number of people are conceiving on their own, but um, it's a long journey even to get into the position where you're like, I'm stable in life, I've got them the money or, or the circumstances that I want to bring a child into. And then you try and do that and you find that you're, that you're unable. And it, it must take a tremendous soul, uh, toll on people's self-esteem as well. Yeah. Well, and so I'm a doctor of traditional Chinese medicine as well as an acupuncturist, and I was working within fertility clinics. And so I worked a lot with people going through the IVF and IUI um, mm -hmm. protocols mm -hmm. and trying to get pregnant that way. So it takes such a toll emotionally, right. financially. IVF, IUI cycles cost between ten to $20,000 per cycle in yeah. Canada with like a 20 to 30% success rate. So many people were going through multiple cycles yeah. of IVF, IUI. And then again, there's just this emotional turmoil of, okay, like super excited, went through the IVF process. And then sometimes you get the result you want, sometimes you don't. And yeah. so it's just so many ups and downs. And, and also, as we know, like emotional health is so important for the physical body as well. You can't have a physically yeah. stable body and emotionally dysregulated, it all plays into each other. And then, yeah, the more pressure people are putting on themselves, it affects other aspects of their life. It affects the relationship together. The intimacy uh, yes. suddenly becomes about, can we can we have a baby? You, you can't be fully present during lovemaking and um, maybe argument. I heard that a large percentage of divorces now happen around inability to have children and, and, yeah. and the, the toll that takes on people. It's huge um, because sex does become a chore and with a lot of things, then it becomes a schedule like, okay, babe, I'm ovulating, let's do this. And it's just a job, a chore. There's no longer intimacy. And I think a lot of people do, they have this vision of conceiving with love. They waited for the right time and all of these factors and then when you're really wanting it, it just becomes, okay, let's do it, let's do it. But intimacy is so important. Um, relationships, like, let's not forget. Yeah, yeah. And, and with the, the family, there could be pressure there. Oh, when are we going to see a baby? And mm -hmm. uh, even if you do tell your family, it's very hard to get understanding for people because they've not experienced the same thing that you have. And a lot of well-intentioned comments from friends and family can actually be really hurtful to people. Oh, 100%. And I do, I think the human body is amazing, but there's so many toxins and disruptors out there that that's the reason I think we're in a bit of an infertility epidemic, but there are tons of solutions. The body is amazing. And so when we met at the Greater Reset Conference and you gave your talk on detoxing and pharmaceuticals, I was so excited to meet you and collaborate. And there was so many synchronicities yeah. Yeah. because you were running detox retreats and you're the detox expert detox daddy, as we call him sometimes. Um, and I really enjoy helping people with reproductive and sexual health. So it was just perfect. And yeah, we came up with this retreat so that we can build connection and community that's so lacking in our world of infertility. Um, and then, yeah, the reason why we think infertility is on the rise. I like what you said, one of your teachers, um, that 
Yeah. Can, yeah. Okay, so I'll say a, a little bit about that. So when when I was at the Greater Reset in Morelia, Mexico, I, I've been writing, researching and writing a book about the pharmaceutical industry and I've put out a lot of articles. And that was partly um, because I've gone through my own health struggles and things like that. And I've tried so many different alternative therapies. Um, I, with some with modest results, some worked quite well. But over the years, I got a good idea of what helps and what doesn't. And discovering the principles of detoxification was like complete game changer for me. I used to be intolerant to gluten and dairy. Um, I had all sorts of digestive problems. The worst thing was the kind of like bouts of depression and anxiety. Now, especially depression, that probably led me on to the self-help and alternative therapy journey because you know when you're if you're depressed enough you'll do anything to get out of it now i know that those are all related they're not different diseases the digestive health led to those other things i had eczema psoriasis and um, i got blotching in my chest and i went to a mainstream doctor he gave me some cream i thought he was going to cure me when i came back a couple of months later and said oh this has come come back um, you know, why is that? He'd be like, I don't know, like poor luck. And that began to help me begin to realize that the, the mainstream doctors were only treating symptoms, not causes. When I discovered the principles of detoxifying the body, that opened up a whole world to me. But I had to stitch the information together a little bit from here, a little bit from there. And, and whatnot. That's why I was so glad to partner with you because I could have got through this much faster years ago and um, solved these problems that I had um, efficiently and quickly. And I also, one of, one of my, one of, one of the people who treated me more successfully for my digestive issues was a Chinese medicine expert. So that was like also synchronistic for me meeting you. Um, so we were able to actually deliver a streamlined program because uh, I'm going to get into this a little bit more, but when, when I was on the way to meet you and um, to meet with your uh, your collaborator, your your uncle, um, John Manco, um, I was just saying to my girlfriend, you know, I've got all this information. I, I need a place that I can do something, something with it to deliver it. But, you know, maybe there's just a job waiting for me. Maybe I'll just walk into a place. And then I met them and that led me to meet you. And as it just so happens, you're like the pelvic health and fertility, acupuncture, uh, Chinese medicine. Um, and your experience, you've actually worked in fertility clinics. I'd already told John a great demographic to work with would be people who want to have children or people who are struggling to have children. Because what my teacher said was, we're suffering from intergenerational cellular toxicity. You inherit, and it's not just toxicity, it's nutritional deficiency. Because we've heard so much about how the land's depleted in minerals. In addition to that, the pesticides that they spray kill the microorganisms in the soil, which are meant to pre-digest nutrients so they can take, be taken into the plant. You kill the microorganisms, the plant doesn't get the minerals. The plant doesn't get the minerals. You don't get the minerals. Because if even if you're eating animals, the feed that the animals are getting don't have the level of nutrition that our grandparents were getting. So one of the, th one of the problems with the mainstream treatment says, if I'm right, right, because we heard this with, with, you see this with cats. If you tr fed them the wrong food, the first generation would get sick. The second generation would start getting disease. The um, chronic diseases, that, uh, what are called autoimmune metabolic diseases. The third generation would start to get heart disease and cancer. And the fourth generation wouldn't be able to reproduce. Wow. So, so what, what we're seeing is um, even if you go we were seeing a epidemic of chronic illness, which gives power to our thesis that the, 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 the toxicity and the nutritional deficiencies are a factor here. When you look at our kids, they're sicker than ever. More of them are getting acne, ADD, ADHD, 
ME, chronic fatigue, all of the, all of the chronic diseases and the adults are not being able to reproduce. And what my teacher said was that all physical disease, more or less, all of these chronic diseases arise out of the underlying cellular condition of the body. Healthy cells build healthy tissues. Healthy tissues build healthy organs, and healthy organs build a healthy body. And a healthy body should be able to conceive. Yes. So even if you go for IVF treatment and it's successful, you run the risk of being represented in these chronic disease statistics, ADD, ADHD, ME, colitis, and so on. The last thing you want after years of wanting to have a child, going for IVF, and finally getting pregnant is to bring a sickly child into the world. Uh, the heartbreak that that would cause would be immense. So what I like with the opportunity we have here to create a retreat for this is to actually get to the underlying cause of the problem and reverse the accumulating toxicity and nutritional deficiencies which have been passed on from all the processed food the toxins in our water supply, the pesticides, the sprays, the plastics, the BPAs that are accumulating in the cells and the, the, the fat-soluble plastics are hard to remove compared to our own waste, but that's a whole nother question. What we can actually do is turn the tide and start solving this problem which is systemic. I just want to say one more thing, like that, the reason why the mainstream doctors have failed to reverse these chronic diseases that we're likely to get is the, for the same reason that they're, they're, treat, they're looking at the symptom as the disease rather than the symptom as a systemic thing which yes. needs to be dealt with in a systemic fashion. Well, and as someone that wasn't super familiar with detox, what really like struck home for me was when you said detoxing is only part of it, but it's actually the remineralization that we need. And I never put two and two together that like, cause you do hear about all these detox programs, but a big part of it is getting those nutrients back into the cell. And how can those nutrients get into the cell if it's overloaded with toxins, yeah. pesticides, everything you named. And so it's really wonderful because we're partnered with a great natural farmer in Mexico. So we have amazing fruit and juices and vegetables that are void of these chemicals. And so I just think it was perfect. But I loved that, that a big part of it is getting those minerals back in, as well as we'll have some supplementation in the detox retreat for fertility, as well as detoxing. Yeah, and you're going to teach people about um various elements of the body and how they interface. Um, also, you know, stress being a big factor, you know, yes. what better place to come to than the beautiful Ixtapa, Mexico. Tell us a little bit about, because I think education is gonna be a big part of it. I'm gonna teach yes. you about this stuff. Um, and you're gonna, you've, you've got, you've accumulated a lot of knowledge and we work with experts in the area as well. Tell them a little bit about the things that, you know, people need to know about their body that they don't get taught in, in school. Yeah, well, honestly, it's really simple and basic, but a big factor is stress. And we're, and we're living our daily lives and we're at work. And that's a big thing with IVF as well is it is a surgery, but many people don't take the time off work. Mm -hmm. And so all this stress, your body does not signal that it's ready to mm -hmm. have a baby. And mm -hmm. so stress is a main factor, which is why come to a retreat, everything is taken care of you, meals, you're on the beach, and it's just so wonderful. Um, so stress is a big factor as well as circulation, because again, all of these nutrients and minerals, it's the circulation of the body and the body is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So um, what acupuncture and Chinese medicine does is we kind of unkink the hose, like That's if right. you will. Yeah. So we're improving blood flow to the reproductive organs, also like the fascia systems. The body just has this complex web of lymphatic system, circulation system, the fascial matrix. And so, 
getting all of these nutrients to the reproductive organs is the best thing we can do. So one, we are detoxing the toxins, we are remineralizing, and then we're making sure that you receive proper body work so that the reproductive organs are firing on all cylinders. Yeah, so it's, it's truly a holistic approach because we're really fortunate that um, we're, we're in an environment that is quite vibrant and uh, the, I think one of the things that people worry about when they go on a retreat is, am I going to be bored? Uh, and there's, there's so much to do here and there's so much that we can provide for people to keep busy that this isn't going to be a retreat like um, going up like a monk in the Himalayas to fast for 28 days or 48, however, however many. Um, we, we, can, we can actually provide a lot of... Can I do this again? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Thanks very much. Oh, I just froze. Sorry, I blanked. That's fine. That's all good. So, yeah, thank you. That's a good idea. So it really is a holistic approach that we're taking here. Tell people at home some of the other activities they or their friend who they recommend might come here can expect to partake in while they're at a retreat because we do live in quite a vibrant environment. One of the things that people might worry about is, oh, all that time, what if I, what if I get bored? Well, um, it's not going to be a retreat like uh, going up to the Himalayas to fast on your own for 48 days or anything like that because there's, there's tons of really fun stuff to do out here. Yeah. Well, I'm really excited because we will be in Extapa Palace Resort. So everything will be taken care of you, your juices, your supplements, your treatments. But we're and then we also have yoga, breath work, movement classes. And we alluded to in the beginning how connection is often lost during the fertility journey. So we hope to have some connection games, intimacy games as well as Anthony is going to be leading daily expert education on detoxing and whatnot. And you can ask your questions. We'll have consultations. So acupuncture will be a part of it. We're also very lucky to be in a very health-minded town. So it's this beautiful town in Mexico, Ixtapa Zihuantaneo. And everything is taken care of, but why I love Ixtapa is there's still a town. Mm -hmm. And so I don't know if you've ever been to other resorts in like Cancun or Puerto Vallarta, mm -hmm. but the town is almost separated mm -hmm. from all of the resort mm -hmm. space. And so we are in a resort, yeah, yeah, like right beside the ocean, but there's also this beautiful town. So you get to go to the markets, do yeah. some shopping. Mm -hmm. And so we will have loads of activities and outings to the beach guest lectures, and it's also a very health-minded town. So we have tons of amazing body workers here as well to, for you to get additional support, meet really interesting people. But the biggest part that I love about this is the community that we'll have. Mm -hmm. Again, like I said, sometimes the fertility journey is lonely, but we'll have a community of people, and I'm sure lots of you have gone through similar experiences. Yes. So people to share in that and actually understand what you're going through. It would be a big deal to be around people who really get it when you talk about the struggles that you have and they don't just give their glib advice or say, oh, I'm sure it'll work out or something like that, mm -hmm. which can be well-intentioned but really helpful. Uh, I am, for one, um, looking forward to going down to the beach and releasing some turtles back into nature. Yes. We've got some outings like uh, hikes and e-bike tours and um, uh, we can have uh, Spanish and salsa lessons around yes. here as well, if you want to shake it a little bit. And um, I just know that we're going to have the most phenomenal time together. So mm -hmm. if you know someone that this would be helpful to, um, please pass it on to them. As I said, I have, I have reversed a whole bunch of conditions using the kind of protocols that we're teaching here. Um, we use particular supplements to help your body remove different things. Your, like, your cells breathe in, breathe out, eat, and they also poop just like you poop. So um, that, that, this is one thing that you can benefit from, which is giving your body a spring clean. That's the easy part. The body was evolved to, re to remove these wastes. There's other things like 
the microplastics and heavy metals that you, your body might need help with to remove from the body. And that's best done in an environment like this, where it's controlled around other people. Um, and you're going to get a deep insight into how that works. So we've got a retreat here to help you rise to greater levels of health. And in the process, you should be able to conceive it, uh, <laughs> so to speak. So um, is there anything you'd like to add before we wrap up? I don't think so. I think the main point that I want to get across is that stress is a number one factor in not being able to conceive. And so we have everything taken care of. You can focus on yourself, your partner, that connection. Um, so it's a relaxing holiday, but you don't have to feel like, oh, I just have um, trying to conceive off the table. We're still working towards your health and your fertility journey, but you get to relax in a beautiful yeah. destination and everything is taken care of for you. So yeah. I just think it's a fantastic option. One to try before IVF or IUI, just to get your body healthy and Definitely. it'll be Definitely. better susceptible to IVF and IUI procedures, but also just as a natural alternative to continue trying to conceive naturally if the body is healthy. So much comes from that. Right. We just get the ball rolling, and um, I'm may. excited to see like how everyone reacts. Yeah. And that's the other beautiful thing about being in a retreat is if you are having tougher reactions to the detox, mm -hmm. we have the detox expert here, and he'll do consultations, make sure you're feeling good. Um, so you'll be under the care of people as well. That's right. You might bring your partner along kicking and screaming, and they might reverse some of their Thing. We can't obviously make any medical claims or anything like that. It's not medical advice. But you just never know what happens when you decide to commit so to something like this. You decide that it's for you and make a commitment to change your life for the better. Mm -hmm. Well, and that's the thing that we're really trying to promote as well. Like, one, if you are trying to conceive alone, this is fantastic for you and will assist with the IUI donor sperm, whatever route that you choose. But also we really encourage partners to come because egg quality and sperm quality are our utmost important. So the more we can improve sperm, mm -hmm. sperm and egg mm -hmm. quality, the better chances we have at conceiving. Oh, another thing that I really liked was um, a friend of Anthony. She is a midwife and she brought up the fact that the egg quality, it starts three months before that egg is actually fertilized. And so this is a great way to get the body ready for conception. Um, so it does. It takes yeah. three months before yeah. that egg is fertilized and the health of that egg. So right. it's good to get the body healthy, detoxified, and in the right state of mind before you're looking to conceive. Could you elaborate a little more on this three-month window and why it's so important? Yes. So we wanted to offer up to a three month uh, detox retreat because of how I said with the egg quality, but we've offered it at three different levels. Mm -hmm. So we have 28 days and then I believe it's 56. You can do the and then is it 84? 84. Yeah. Three, three cycles. Three cycles. And so we wanted it to follow the menstrual cycle, the ideal menstrual cycle, because we go through different hormonal changes mm -hmm. with each um, phase of our cycle. And also, if you've seen the podcast with Paul Roy and Ernesto, they talk a lot about like the soil health and how that relates to reproduction. And so I love that. And so we have Ernesto doing um, gardening, permaculture glasses. Yes, people can and get involved. Yeah. And so you're also welcome to work in the garden yes. and just ground yourself in that. But it's such, if you haven't watched that, I recommend watching it because it is really great how we nourish our plants. And that's a big belief in Chinese medicine is that humans are the same as nature. We need to nurture our mm -hmm. environment, make mm -hmm. sure we get the right minerals. Um, mm -hmm. And so Paul does a really great job of how the soil health and our body's health are Get able together. to fruit and reproduce because it is really important that we're taking care of our minerals and um, the soil health of our body. And it, it goes perfectly in tandem with what one of my great teachers said because he would say it's an eight week program and sometimes people would email him in 12 or 16 days saying I'm having this effect or I'm having that effect or I'm not sure if it's working the way it should be and he'd email them back going look 
it's an eight week program for a reason, right? <laughs> yes. So this is because the the body will shed layers like an onion and you get deeper into the tissues. What you can achieve in when you put the side, no, no, no number of one, a one week retreat or a two week retreat is great, but no number of those will allow you to get as deep as you will experience on a longer program, such as the one that we're running at Xtapa Palace. Yes, and that's why we did a minimum of 28 days, but the longer you can attend to your body for, the better. And another great thing is that we'll have these daily information sessions. So Anthony will be talking about detox and I can talk about fertility. And that's information that you get to take home with you. Mm -hmm. And also, I believe a lot of the recipes and we'll give you instructions for how to continue this detox right. and remineralization back at home as well. Yeah. So it's not only about coming here, it is about getting that relaxation in the body, getting all that information, taking care of yourself, but we hope that we are going to give you tons of information for you to take back home and implement in your daily lives as well. So it's not just about this. It's health is an ongoing journey. You never know everything. You're never finished with it. Um, but that's the beauty of it. We can always be right. learning more and continue on this health so journey. I think what I could say is this retreat isn't just going to prepare you to conceive, but to live a fertile life. Yes, I love that. You can conceive it. You can conceive it. <laughs> That's a wrap for us today. I'm Anthony Samroff with the great Dr. Megan Manco. Uh, if you know anyone that this would benefit, please pass it along. You could save your friends, associates, a tremendous amount of suffering if they happen to have this information. You can get the link to register for one of our retreats in the description below the video. If you liked it, say hi, leave us a comment, and we'll see you next time.